Hello everybody and welcome to Parks Bros. The sun is not in my favor at the moment. Now it is, but we are at California Adventure. It's me and Lorenzo. If you haven't seen Lorenzo, it's, well, I mean, it's been a long time. Uh, I think the last time we came together was in May, but it is Halloween time finally in DCA and Disneyland. So I'm very excited. This is actually park number four out of five. Uh, we'll be at Disneyland later, I'm sure. But we're gonna go to Guardians of the Galaxy Monsters After Dark right now. It just opened up, it's about 5.05 or so. Um, but I'm very excited. They've added some new stuff, so I'm really excited to see that. Are you Lorenzo? Hell yeah, I am. All right. It is a 20 minute wait for Monsters After Dark. Are you kidding me right now? Monday is the day to come. Like, seriously? Oh, yeah. Oh, Cosmo's gone again. Man, I love Monsters After Dark. It's so great. Just Road Monsters After Dark. Man, it's my favorite, probably. I love this overlay, like, more than most overlays, but it's just, I love the way it's kind of creepy, but at the same time, it still keeps that Guardians, like, fun type of vibe. Um, but yeah, we're gonna head to a credit coaster now. It's only a 20 minute wait, are you kidding me? Like, it's pretty empty today. Space Mountain only has a 30 minute wait for Ghost Galaxy, so, like, that's, pretty insane honestly the longest waits we've seen is guardians now because we just missed the rush we pretty much walked on too um and haunted mansion actually has a 45 minute wait and then like splash mountain has a 45 minute wait because it is a little warmer um it is cooling down pretty quickly though so but now on to Coaster. so we've come by bugs land as the coco announcement is going on but this is i think it's finally hitting me bugs land is no more all right, well, if the happy music would stop, please. please. Please, happy music, stop it. But yeah, Bugs Land is absolutely no more. It's overtaken by uh, Stark Industries, it seems. It's sad, man. So just got off of Credit Coaster. We're getting really shaky again in the loop, especially in the top and the bottom too. It's just like, oy. but. Here is Jesse's Critter Carousel. It's looking nice with the red. Um, also on Incredicoaster, you get great views of where the Inside Out ride is going, and it is like the perfect view. I will, every time I go on Incredicoaster, I'm probably just gonna go on it for looking at that half the time, so. So we are actually going to wait in line for adorable snowman frosted treats. This is my first time actually doing this, but the line doesn't look too bad compared to the usual. But we actually just met Theme Park except a, a Theme Park Obsession. 
goodness. I will link his channel here. He actually makes a lot of cool stuff, especially about theme parks. He actually, it's kind of funny. We always end up at the same parks on the same days, it seems. But yeah, make sure to go check him out and uh, let's get some soft serve. I can't speak anymore, man. So just got the snow-capped lemon. It's white chocolate dipped uh, lemon soft serve. It's really interesting. The white chocolate is definitely hot. I just licked it and it tastes like pure white chocolate. It's kind of crazy. So let's give this thing a try. I'm really interested to see how it is. So just finished the snow cap lemon. Um, not the biggest fan of lemon Dole Whip. And I think that's just because it's lemon. Uh, I would prefer pineapple Dole Whip for sure. But that's just because I like pineapple more uh, by, like by itself than lemon, honestly. Um, it doesn't taste like the freshest lemon, that's for sure. I mean, it's not like, I, I don't know if it's actual like natural lemon. I'm guessing it is, but it just, it seems a little more pungent than usual with most lemon tasted like things, if that makes any sense at all. Um, but I definitely love the white chocolate. The white chocolate was fantastic. It cooled down pretty quickly, but it melted everything else. Um, I mean, you can tell with Lorenzo, Hey. He's having some <laughs> troubles with uh, melting, so no I guess shit. it's that, that temperature. So we're actually going to head to Disneyland now, and I don't know what you want to do, Indiana Jones, Space Mountain, whatever. Found, whatever. Whatever. We'll do something over there. But uh, now my mouth is yellow. So one of my favorite things about Halloween at the Disney parks is Cars Land. Hi, Lorenzo. He's trying to duck up. <laughs> wow. All right, cool. Um, <laughs> But I just love how it looks in Cars Land. It's called Halloween, H-A-U-L, like you're hauling a bunch of stuff. It's just amazing. I mean, Mater's gets an overlay. The entire land gets an overlay. Uh, and Radiator Springs Racers does not. Uh, I can never say that anymore. Radiator Springs Racers, goodness. All right. Um, and I think Luigi's gets one, but I'm not entirely sure. I think it's just a different song, but... Um, it looks amazing. It's a tree! <laughs> Whoa! Halloween and radiator! So we've made our way over to Disneyland after riding in Credit Coaster and eating some ice cream. Um, my favorite part about Halloween is these two parks at night for sure, especially DCA. It looks so, so good at night. Maybe we'll head back over there eventually tonight, but we're actually gonna head over towards like New Orleans Square in that area, because Indiana Jones is only like a 25 minute wait. Thunder Mountain's a 30 minute wait, and so is Haunted Mansion. And Splash Mountain's even 40, and that's probably gonna go to being, you know, a, a less of a wait in the next coming hour or so. So I'm very excited to see what the rest of the park looks like with all of its Halloween stuff. So Indiana Jones is only about a 30 minute wait, so we figured why not. It's pretty empty in the park today, which is really nice, but a lot of the crowds have gone to DCA as soon as we left. So it's really hard to see right now, but I got myself a mint julep. They're so good. Only with 20 cents more than a water bottle, so it's like worth it. And we've stopped by the Halloween tree. It looks beautiful. Actually, I think we might meet up with Theme Park Obsession again and with Dylan and Michael, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, but we're going to head to Big Thunder because we love us some Big Thunder, especially at night. Right? Yeah, Big Thunder. Mm. So we just did Thunder Mountain. <laughs> oh, man. I'm just in awe by how this looks. It's fantastic. It's beautiful. And there's something else that I get to see very, very soon. Monsters After Dark 
fantastic ride, of course. But now we're seeing more of the amazing purple trees. I mean, there's some orange in there too, but we're heading into Cars Land. The park is actually closed. It closed about two, three minutes ago. But uh, I mean, we can still walk around for a little bit, but we're gonna look at Cars Land at night just to see how pretty it looks in Halloween. So a pretty great day here at California Adventure and Disneyland. Actually the last two parks out of the five and four days that I've done. But look at this, oh, if I could get it in shot. That's beautiful. The soundtrack is amazing. Purple trees, may I say. Also we just spent like the last two hours with uh, Dylan from Theme Park Obsession and he's an awesome guy. Make sure to check him out. Uh, make sure he gets to a thousand. How about that? Because I'd love to see him get to a thousand. Um, but also pur purple trees. Lorenzo had a great day, I think. I, he's just really tired now, aren't you, buddy? You tired? No. Yeah. That's what I expected. But with Oogie Boogie laughing and scaring a little bit, Halloween has begun. And with that, we'll see you on the next ride.